Turn Out the Lights is so much more dense than Julian Baker's debut, Sprained Angle. Her debut was very much nondescript in terms of vocals, like there wasn't really much personality to her voice. Um, the music was pretty much soaked in reverb too. Um, it wasn't a bad album by any means. I just didn't feel like there was much of a singer there. It just felt like any kind of singer-songwriter doing acoustic ballads. And it turned out pretty nice, but it wasn't anything that all that special. However, on her latest album, Turn Out The Lights, she has really stepped up her game vocally by oof, loads. So many powerful performances, particularly in the first few tracks of this album. I do feel like we get her best on the track two and track three. Track two being appointments where um, Julian Baker is singing at someone who seems to be quite mad at her and Julian is very sad because she doesn't want to be reminded that she's such a disappointment and um, she talks about how she needs to start going to like therapy sessions again. The album is very deep in its subject matter as you probably can tell, uh, tackling her mental health, her mental state, um, sometimes you know suicidal thoughts crop up too and just reminding herself constantly that she's not the person she wants to be. It doesn't honestly feel like there's any point where there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I guess that could be the title, Turn Out The Lights, because there is no hope in a sense. On the third track, Turn Out The Lights, she's talking about how when the lights are out, it's just her on her own and she kind of has to deal with everything all alone. But the vocals, like in the last third of the track, are incredible. But when I turn out the lights... Every now and then she just comes through with these incredible vocal performances. I just wish it wasn't just on the first few tracks that we got them because as much as the album does continue to stay in a pretty good um, quality of music, um, never at one point do I get bored even though it is slow acoustic music. Um, I do feel like every now and then we could have had a bit more of that passion and delivery that came through just like on those first few tracks because we don't often get it on the rest of the album. She's clearly capable of it, I mean she's proven it already, I mean just so early on in the album you'd think that it would carry on but it doesn't, but that's not the worst thing in the world. On the track Sour Breath towards the end of the track um, it honestly sounds like she's ready to just break down into tears where she's singing um, The Harder I Swim, The Faster I'll Sink and just the cracks in her voice feel so raw and just in the moment like you can tell there is just so much pain to this woman. On this track as well she's even saying how like um, if she tried just that little harder she thought the person would see her in a different light but they don't and it, it again it continues to break her again it's like that turn out the lights thing every time she thinks there's some kind of light there it just goes away and there's no hope wow i'm depressed now it does feel like things are slightly better on the track um hurts less where she's talking about how she doesn't really want to ever wear like safety belts um you know, that's probably like some kind of metaphor, but she doesn't really care um, because if she crashes or whatever, it, it, you know, she just doesn't really care. <laughs> that's the suicidal thoughts, I guess, creeping, like I mentioned earlier. But then towards the end of the track, she, you know, has a person that she can rely on and she says, oh, I've started wearing safety belts now because I know that when I'm with you, you know, I don't have to think about myself too much and I'm safe. But even that slight glimmer of hope on that one song doesn't really seem to stick through for the last few tracks because again it just seems like she's back to herself being alone and just wanting that someone to come save her but there isn't. It, it really is a bit too much this album in an emotional sense because it's just too real. This is like real life you know there aren't too many people out there that can kind of like say oh I've found the happiness that I've been looking for and this album is just basically the epitome of that. I've probably sold this to be something that's far too sad and far too depressing to actually enjoy but if you like that singer-songwriter music that has so much weight to it emotionally, so much depth, then this this is something that you'll enjoy I think. 
Um, for me, um, I just wanted a bit more of those raw performances that we got on the few tracks that we did. Uh, but everything else on this album, I think, is very well written. The music um, is 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 pretty decent. It's pretty standard for your singer songwriter out there. Um, but the quality jump from her debut is so vast that I can't help but feel like this album deserves a lot of praise. I'm going to give this a solid B. I would recommend it if you're into those singer songwriter sad albums, um, like you know, like your Mount Eerie and uh, artists like that, Sun Kill Moon, Connor Robust, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, do check it out and let me know what you think of it if you've already heard it. Uh, tell me what I should review next. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more reviews as well, and have a good day.